She picked up his cell phone and read a text message from a woman he had a previous relationship with. A verbal argument ensued. He reached over to her to open the car door and attempted to force her out. When he could not, he shoved her head against the passenger window of the vehicle, causing a circular contusion. She turned to face him, and he punched her. He looked at her and stated, I'm going to beat the shit out of you when we get home. You wait and see. She picked up her cell phone and faked a phone call. I'm on my way home. Make sure the cops are there when I get there. He looked at her and stated, You just did the stupidest thing ever. No, I'm really going to kill you. He resumed punching her. She bent over at the waist in an attempt to protect her face and head from the barrage of punches. He snatched the phone out of her hand and threw it. He put her in a headlock with his right arm. He held her close and bit her left ear. He stopped the vehicle. She turned off the car, removed the key from the ignition, and sat on it. He began applying pressure to her carotid arteries, and she began to lose consciousness. She attempted to gouge his eyes, but he bit her fingers and released her. She brought her knees to her chest and placed her feet against his body, pushing him away. He continued to punch her legs and feet. She began screaming for help. He exited the vehicle and walked away. One in three teens are abused in a relationship. Where are the stats? Three bracelets. One blue, two black. They're free. Get yours at dosomething.org slash abuse.